Welcome to monthly weeb stuff. I'm trying to not swear because of that new YouTube policy, you know? We're talking about anime watch, the manga, manhwa, and manhwas, however you pronounce it, that I read. And the special codes that I, uh... Yeah. Start off with little girl x scoob x evil eye. Um, I am a firm believer that you don't say the x's, but here I am fucking contradicted. Ugh. It's an isekai. The gimmick this time is that the MC has this ability where his eye can like curse people and do other things. Additionally, he has a comrade he meets in the mine who is, I believe, either a sheep or a ram. I, I don't know. Her whole thing is that she uses a shovel as a weapon. She's something like a Kudere type of character. So far throughout the story, our main character is just trying to survive. And the big plot right now has some relation to this dragon girl where they have to fight her due to the sheep girl getting kidnapped. And that's kind of really where the manga is at right now. Except for the latest chapter or latest translated chapter. I'm not quite sure how far behind the scanlators, whatever they're called, are. But current chapter, chapter 23, they finally have a plan to fucking beat up this dragon girl. They use chains to restrict her movement, and the MC uses his evil eye in like some sort of way. I I, I don't really understand how his eye works. It, it's like that um analysis skill that you typically see, where it's like oh MC could see everything, but then you add like a bunch of other shit. So yeah, you could do this, do this, and then do this. But anyways, uh, MC uses evil eye, and then the sheep girl comes up from the top and cuts the dragon girl's titty off. Yeah, overall, it's a fun read, and I wish I had more chapters. Reborn Ranker Gravity User. It's a generic manhwa, I'm not even gonna lie. MC is from the future, fucking dies, and then goes back 10 years into the past. The gimmick this time is that he has gravity-based powers. If you want a self-insert power fancy, then here you go. Granted, the MC does have a bit of personality aside from what we typically see, which, which is a good thing. It, it's a good thing. I read 22 out of 33 chapters. I'm not gonna pick it up again. I'm gonna be honest, it's not really worth it. Want something to waste your time for like an hour? Go ahead. Uh, Chi 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 Chi. <laughs> let, let me tell you about this one. Let me tell you about this one. I thought this was going to be a uh, wholesome slice of life romance, but uh, I was wrong. I was so wrong. It's basically an Onesan X Shota story. I don't need to say more, do I? The first two pages are straight up bare titties. Now, 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 now we get to chapter two, all right? Chapter two, I don't even know why I kept reading. Due to manga reasons, the two characters are watching each other, right? Our MC fucking slips and his dick falls right in between the female MC's titties. And bro, bust a nut on impact. Bro, on fucking impact, I can't show the fucking scene for obvious reasons why that happened. Mushijo, magical girls but with insect powers. Our MC is this really shy and timid girl who happens to have a talking centipede as her companion and mascot. Which also gives her her powers. Especially the plot revolves around that and the fact that she's in love with this other character and this dude is special. How? Well, the centipede isn't the only talking insect. There's more, and what they do is take over a human's body and control them, like Venom. Where this guy comes in is if they eat him, uh, they will no longer need a host to use their power and will additionally gain this like immense power or whatever. And without a host, they're just regular ass insects that like, you could go outside if you just see a worm and you see that shit talking, fucking, fucking cut that shit apart, fucking step on it. And since our MC is in love with this dude, she's doing whatever in her power to protect him. The centipede also isn't able to control her due to unknown reasons. One thing I do have to know is that it, it kind of feels like Kamen Rider. So it's like insects, magical girls, and Kamen Rider all mixed together. I also have noted that in chapter 1 they reference Furbies. Like y'all remember Furbies? My personal favorite is the long Furby. It's a fun manga, the concept is neat, but it's not really for me. If it was animated then I would probably enjoy it more, but the manga forms I- Oh fuck, this is a long title. Magical Explorer. It seems I have become a friend of the protagonist in an arrow gay world, but because magic is fun, I have abandoned the role and trained myself. Oh shit, that was all. Um, it's another East Kai and um, yeah, I don't need to say anything else, huh? So far, there have only been six chapters that have been translated after three fucking years. I actually enjoyed this one. Not much to say and not much has really happened, like plot-wise. 
but it's slightly better than the average East Kai. So take that as you will. I don't know what is going on in the background development of this series, but I hope there's at least 20 chapters of the manga. I don't know, I find it just to be kind of fun, like more fun than average East Kai. So I do hope there's at least 20 chapters before it probably got axed. Tadas, oh fuck. Uh, Tadas, I don't know how to say that. Tada, whatever, East Kai Kazoku. Seikatsu. I just said that in the most like western accent I could huh. This is wholesome but weird. Not weird in like a way new anime fans find some anime tropes weird but it feels off. If you like four year olds with the IQ of Einstein then like here you go. The hero returns from another world becomes an influencer and earns money in the real world where dungeons have appeared. It's as it says. I didn't bother reading past chapter 2, there's only 3 chapters out right now, but when it comes to these types of reverse-ish isekais, I just prefer manwas. Like I made a TikTok video about this, how I kinda see this genre popping up more and more within the manga world. There, there's something. Loser, loser, loser sensei. Three girls bully their teacher, but they all secretly like him. If you like getting bullied, then go on ahead. Yeah, that, that, that's it for fucking January. I kinda forgot to make this. <laughs> So I didn't write much, but yeah, here's just some of the manga that I read throughout the fucking month of January. If I saved all of them, this would have been a fucking hour long video, but I only fucking just took some random ones that I read. 